hello and welcome to another video we are off to ikea this morning we are off on an adventure down to croydon ikea we're gonna go get some hopefully some new dinner plates sandwich bags a few storage bags oh please ignore my phone a whole load of fake flowers <laughs> and a little tiny doofle store cuddly bear is the hope because i need him in my life so yeah so come join me on a jaunt to ikea i'm gonna film as much as i can in there and then we'll get a lovely haul when i get back later this evening so yeah come to ikea with me hey folks welcome to ikea Tiny one. I like the trolleys. <laughs> we are going to go on a mooch. filming in public. Wish me luck. <laughs> like that mirror. Is that the tiny steps? Old IKEA catalogs. Fonzies. Yeah, the chairs. All the chairs. Actually, I'm about to get rid of a poem, so. <clears throat> Which should be fun. I'm going to my sister because she needs a chair. Uh, sorry if my voice is not very loud. I'm not very good at this in public yet. Some more storage tables. Have another tiny room. This one's quite nice. I like that pillow. That's a nice pillow. Focusing is not in the fibre. That's pretty good. My favourite thing is always the fake food. A sink collar, that's pretty cool. This is a cool room. It's like a coffee shop. But look at those bookcases. Amazing. So, yeah, because that is the dream actually, is what I want in lots of big bookcases that I think I like that because I look like Billy bookcases. But yeah, this is what I want in my house. Oh, the dream. <laughs> On to Kallax. This is what I'm going to be getting Ryan. I don't think he wants the wood ones, he wants these white ones. But yeah, he wants a whole load of these that he's going to have sideways to make like a U-shaped desk. So yeah, that's his aim. So yeah, so he just wants to play white Kallax. However, I want Billy bookcases. Here they are. 
There's all the different woods. Let's go have a look. This is the oak effect, which is quite pale. This one is the walnut effect, actually. I prefer the walnut than I do the oak. So when you look at the colour difference, we well, are side by side here. Yeah, that's oak effect and that's walnut. So I'm thinking walnut. But I'm going to buy the tall ones. That type. And I'm going to have three of them in my room. So, yeah. But I just want these plain ones. Don't want any drawers or doors. Nice big bookcase. They're really good at 70 quid. So that is my aim, that's what I want. But I'm gonna order them to my house because I can't get them on the tram. Not gonna fit it in my friend's car. <laughs> so that's the aim, so. But I could even get doors if I wanted into them, but I like books showing. Let's have a shuffle onto the next session. I've reached the office chairs. I quite like the idea of these little wide ones that could go with the sewing stuff and they also do it in a darker color. And it has the adjustable height. Hundred and fifty. And it's wheels. So yeah, that might be a contender. There is this one, but you can't adjust the height. They're tilt, but no height. But I'll give them a 65 quid though. But yeah, I quite like the idea of just a really nice wide chair that's a bit yeah but yeah hitting around some more bedrooms it always feels a bit nauseous because you feel like you're in someone else's house looking at their stuff <laughs> but I like the layers but yeah Let's go see what other goodies we can find in another section. Going into the best area. It has toys. Here's my emotional support shop. I already have one of him. Ryan has the big one. And then what we want is the bear. See, here is the big bear. He's great. I love him, but I want a little one. Where is the little bear? Monkeys. They're not here. Where's my bear? Maybe he's downstairs. First of all, look at the floor over here. We can play a game. Oh my god. Look. You killed them by stepping on them. Also, they still have Lego, which I think is amazing. I love the Lego. But look over there. It's my son. It's my son. He's that's amazed. <gasps> Ready? He's cuddle sized. <laughs> He's actually the main reason why I'm in IKEA. Look at the size of him. I need him in my life and I'm so happy I have found him. And all his friends. So I can find the best version. So let me have a search and I'll come back to you no good. The first one I picked up is perfect. He... To quote TikTok, you're coming home with me. <laughs> one bear. Happiness. Joy. <laughs> We've hit marketplace. We're in the good stuff. I've got a trolley. So now we're going to see what I can get off my list. So excuse me if it goes crap at some point. I'm gonna get my phone out for my list. Music. In the baking bit, <laughs> hence the noises. So, there you go. It's very cool. Baking mess. Precious cute. 
dough cutters, sort of them cheaper than sauce and granola. No, we're like two pound fifty there. The funnels, pretty fun shaped funnels. Those are your spatulas. Now you get a green one. These are the plates I want. There's a four pack of little ones. And then we want a four pack of big ones. We'll sort the bear out in a second. And then also, they have the deep plates. These are all four pound. Four from ten. Four from ten. And these ones are two from eight. I think I don't need actual bowls. These. Don't need any of them. But these. I'm so happy. Yay. Just done sandwich bags. Got one of the one of the uh bag. one of these ones. One of the bigger green ones, because that's all I kinda need. Don't need loads. Not the nuts, but you know. Getting a few bits. Trying to make this a decent vlog, but we're trying. You know, look at the washing up stuff. Mm -hmm. Someone made something hit the deck. These are the drying up towels. There are five here. I'm still rolling with a very elderly one my mum got for me. Uh, got some very fancy washing up flushings with replaceable heads, which is good to see. Oh, there's that colander. The sink one. Very cool, but I cook, don't. I cook too much. It don't quite for spill. <laughs> so yeah, what's this? Doesn't have a name where it should be. It's a mystery thing. <laughs> Washing gloves. Dead mystery price. Although these are really good. Especially if you've just got grimy stuff and you don't like to. Oh, the ultimate gloves are a pound. Have they got any largest? Because I've got a wide hand. They're all mediums. And these are all mediums, which is no good when you've got little wide hands like me. Yeah. So kitchen utensil rack. That's cool. So you dry them in there and it drains. That's pretty cool. Or it could go on the side under my thing with all the plastic stuff in it. And spoons laying down. Because I currently got a mug and a pot. Although our mug and a pot system works well, why buy something to replace it? Don't need to what Ikea does, it traps you with that, oh I need it new and you don't. <laughs> One box. One of the sandwich packs again. Got 
It's going to sound really silly. I love the fact there's a wood dragon and there is a soup ladle. See, there is a soup dragon. <laughs> We've reached textiles now. These are all the pillows. I've just picked one of these up. £12. It's machine washable. Come on, focus. Machine washable and back head or armrest. And I thought it'd be good in my room doing art stuff in bed when I'm to rest up. And yeah. And the pillows and their cool colour schemes. Green, yellow, red. <laughs> it's very pretty. So yeah. Gonna carry on mooching. Sorry this is a bit disjointed. I'm trying to be brave but this is a trouble. I'm getting to the end of my day now so we'll see how far we can go. Bring on the travel later. I've added a big bath towel and some flannels to the trolley. You know, we have to go do the rest of the marketplace at the bottom, mainly flowers. That's what we wanted to hit up, but yeah. I'm doing really well, but I'm in out of batteries, as is the camera right now, so I'll put my battery in it and catch up with you at the bottom. Bye. We've hit the candle department. Flipping. You can mind me smelling candles. <laughs> this one is Sweet Pea. Pretty actually. What's this one? Jasmine. No, oh, no. I love the fact they leave a little gap now so you can smell candles. The jasmine one's very nice, but due to having to cut down the jasmine 24 7 at a relative's house, I'm not a fan of the smell anymore. Oh, that one's nice. It's like fruit. We have berries, but it's eight pound. It's a bit pricey. Oh, What's this one? Mint, dark green. Yeah, crisp, mint, dark green, whatever dark green smells like. Uh, what is this one? The rustic sense of the forest and fluid streams. It smells like men's aftershave. It's boy smell. Apparently boys that smell like forests and flowing streams, who knew? <laughs> this is quite fun actually. I've just took a big mouthful of Coca-Cola and some painkillers because yeah, pain, painful head appearing. Oh, this is good old, is this cotton? No, that's the wick. Uh, it doesn't say. Forest with a hint of amber and citrus and Cypress. So mm. I'm not very keen on that one. Well, these ones, these ones can look pretty. Oh, look at this. That's beautiful. I love the woodcut on it. Smoky vanilla. Like, it smells like pine as well. Just not my favourite smell. I like this picture as well. So yeah, I like the labels on them, not necessarily the smells, but that happens sometimes. And yeah, no, it's more of the same sense, although there is a cherry one here. Apparently this one smells like fresh grass. Let's see. It does actually. 
looks like really, really fresh. Let's try the one where someone's really ripped it open. It's genuinely small that grass, but poor Ryan. That would get him hay fever triggers. <laughs> uh, and they even got their own version of a what's it called? Thingy candle. They've got lavender and coconut. Coconut isn't coconut enough, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah. And there is the candle department. Fully done. On to the next bit, which is so that. No, so you have to let the thing come out. That's quite cute. I don't know. I don't know what clocks they got because I need a clock. Clocks? Yeah. Got like a blue one. It's the nicest of them, really. I'll catch up with you in flowers. I have to show this adorable box. Oh my god, look how tiny it is. It's £12, which is a lot of money. There's the biggest size at 25 But yeah, all the iridescent glass. There's some rather nice green ones, but they won't fit where I'd need vases at the moment. I need them to be fairly slim to fit on my winter ledge in the kitchen. It's what I'm kind of looking at buying more than anything, so it's for Chinese New Year. But yeah, it's a bit, so yeah, but we're in the flowers. I love the flowers. I've really gotten into fake flowers recently. But yeah, it's really good. So let's go explore the flowers. And actually this is where I have a tick list. Which is quite cool to have a tick list. Yeah. Let's find what I want to do. I like how it's all colour arranged, it's very pretty. Where are we? Oh, baby's breath, leaves, ferns. What I'm wanting are tulips and sweet peas. The ones on my list, so let's see what we can find. Sunflowers. Lovely cherry blossoms. Mm. Now these are roses. That's not what I want. Not spring flowers. It does seem to be more bits. Oh, here we go. These are real life ones, though. They're all very cool, but I have struggles at keeping house plants alive. some more fake ones over here. That's a good show. These are the ones in pots. They're sweet, but they're not what I want. They're not quite what I want either. We are 
kind of getting warm and kind of getting cold. Tulips. <sighs> they see tulips. And they're even in a little pot. See, they're quite cute. And the daffodils as well. I quite like the daffodils. Because. <sighs> Be really sweet. Mm, they're very plasticky. The daffodils, however, are kind of 10 out of 10. And that one's the best one. Let's get them. I like the little tulips, but I want bunches of them because I've just picked up a bunch in Primark. Let's see what's around this side bit here. There's also orchids, but again, I'm not very keen on orchids. Tree fern, but they have like triggers. Don't ask me why they've got triggers, they just do. <laughs> He's nice, though. Look at me talking like I know plants. <laughs> it's a vicious rumour. But yeah, let's carry on. It's nice. Wake up on bits. We're hitting rugs now, so I don't think they have any of the ones I wanted. Unless they're right at the end. I will catch up with you a bit. You can come look around the reshop and reuse area because this is always fun. You never know what you're going to find. Instantly, big plants. Let's see what else we can find that might be fun. I have just picked up a couple of wiggy stickers, a veggie peeler, and a couple of bags. And I've swapped out my spatulas for ones that are 40 pence, so I've got two of them instead. But yeah, I do like this area. But it seems to have a lot of the yellow sticker stuff in at the moment as well. 260 for a plant mister. Hey folks, welcome to the haul portion of our IKEA adventure. Here is my receipt. <laughs> it's very long. Um, where are we? That much of it is purely bargain reductions. So, did very well. I in total spent £70.89. Which isn't bad for me. Usually I get to the end and it's 200 and something and I have a slight heart attack. So yeah. And I managed to bring all this home, which is the thing I think I'm most proudest of. I got all this home in bags, not with a wheelie trolley, by myself. So yeah, so we start with things directly in front of me. Um, and then, yeah, go into stuff in the bag. And I have another bag as well. So there's two bags and some bits were in the smaller bag. So uh, we are going to start with this fella because he's got a little reduction thing. He was £1.50 and it's a 70 by 140 towel in purple so yeah so just seems useful we are always in need of towels so yeah and this is part of the reason why i went it's a i'm not even going to try and pronounce the swedish because my swedish is dreadful <laughs> uh, 
it is a four pack of large dining plates in this beautiful like deep teal color they're originally eight pound down to four and they're lovely i have um the ikea what i have now are ikea plates but i have had them an awful lot of years they are beyond chipped like actually now to the dangerous point of being chipped so they desperately need replacing <laughs> hence why i was chuffed to get these and i spotted these and i liked this color but of course it was in the sale and there weren't many left so <laughs> fate but as it was online it told me they didn't have the bowls and they did so yeah i'll get to show you i got yeah um all uh four large plates four little ones four bowls or deep bowls i think called deep plates these are the little ones the little plates this was eight pound down to three pound for four i only got four because it's me and ryan we never need any more than that so you know any more is just tempting me not to do the washing up to be honest and we're not doing that anymore so we're only using what we need and here are the ones that I did not want to think that were going to be there these are the deep bowls like pasta bowls we love a pasta bowl in this household and I have a couple of Asda ones that are chipped to pieces <laughs> so yeah so now we have quite a collection of pasta bowls but I have a little stack of big plates little plates and pasta bowls in this lovely tealy peacock colour and the whole lot was what four and these were four pound the big plates were four 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 eleven pound for a 12 piece dinner set it's a bloody bargain <laughs> so yeah so i'm very happy with that and that is just you know 10 out of 10. um this was not planned <laughs> this pillow <laughs> he was i think he was 12 pound he's at the top of the receipt yeah, yep 12 pound um but as you saw in the little bit of video and hopefully my voice was loud enough because i was a bit struggling to talk and my anxiety and my people batteries were running low and yeah i was really trying but yeah my voice was, voice was very quiet and meek in there but we we try our best that was my first proper shop out and about talking to camera shop not just filming and adding some music on top so please be proud of me because i'm proud of me but this i thought would be good for putting behind me when i want to sit up in bed and do art stuff but i want to also be cozy i know i've got a big padded back bit in my bed but sometimes pillows and also this is washable so 10 out of 10 then for if i get hair dye and all that kind of fun stuff on it so yeah so i treat myself to a really big pillow uh there we go. That's only for the first four things on the receipt. Uh, sorry, I'm looking. They've got charged my towel twice. Yeah, doesn't matter if I did. Four pound for a towel, still a bargain, to be honest. Uh, unless it's just how the thing shows. One, two, three. It's quite confusing these receipts to be honest. Oh no, yeah, see, one, two, three, four. See, it's showing that as a six, and that's only two, so it shows the original price, and it shows the reduced price. That's really confusing, because one's a one, then we're, oh, yep, yeah, got it now is how they print it on the receipt <laughs> just to make it confusing i have got three of these parkler storage bags uh 55 by 49 by 19 um these were reduced 123 uh from 175 so not loads but I wanted storage bags to go under my bed I had seen some pattern ones I didn't spot them in store I spotted these towards the end so I got three of them because they'll be really good at helping me organize my underbed I've got an ottoman bed you lift up so that'll be really good for organizing the under my bed storage so got three of them uh, I've already got obviously an IKEA bag down there but I've got another one these were 50p uh, no 75p they've gone up in price useful for charity shop stuff and organizing so yeah um oh. 
I've got two of these Winter Fist, um, look at me, my pronunciation, uh, cupcake cases. In fact, now I'm home, I can open them. I didn't want to open them in the shop because it's just mean. These were 50p, I don't know how much they were originally, down to 20p a box. So, yeah, oh, they're sweet. That kind of pattern you get quite a big stack I'll get a hundred in there I think or I don't know either way you get a lot of paper pa paper cake cases that don't necessarily scream Christmas they just scream pretty for 20 pence so I've got two boxes of them so my mum was going to be picking up some cake cases the other day and didn't and I thought I'll get her some they were 20p so yeah so I've got some of them I got this amazing this is the only fake plant I could find on my list. I did have tulips and sweet peas. Couldn't find them. In fact, there are lots of other beautiful plants, but not the ones I wanted. But I did find this. And these are daffodils. And they are so sweet and so nice. These were £8. Which is a bit smelly, but in a slightly different pot, or just taken out, you know, on my kitchen window ledge, springtime i love daffodils all the time i'm so happy that my ones down um the ones i grow downstairs in my little garden um they've got flower buds coming on top now so hopefully the weather keeps staying half decently warm might actually have some daffodils soon <laughs> which will be nice and my christmas rose is nearly flowering which is always a good sign that's the first flower of spring to flower for me so it's usually yeah Christmas rose, snowdrops, then daffodils. So yeah, so let's hope we get some spring flowers appearing. Uh, so yeah, sorry, just looking at the receipt. Uh, yep, yeah. I got myself a veggie peeler. A nice metal one i've had a plastic one that i got rid of recently because it was just horrible to use this was two pound reduced from four so yeah gotta love that so i'll get got myself a nice vegetable peeler um got a pack of the plastic knife forks and spoons we have some they are rather elderly there are some missing um and unfortunately where all these little bits of moulding in the plastic they can get quite grotty and really quite a pain in the ass to clean after a while they just don't clean so yeah so for £1.50 I got us a new set of plastic cutlery and we can bolster stuff back up and have some new plastic cutlery because Ryan quite likes to use these for various bits and pieces so yeah so we have, always have plastic cutlery available for whatever reason and £1.50 for a that amount was pretty awesome to be honest <laughs> i'll have to show my friend meet my friend do full stop he is amazing look at the size of him by the way he's perfection look at his little face he was eight pound and as it was the first one i picked up was the one i bought because he was just amazing and he had the best face some of them had really skinny faces and it didn't look right but yeah he's got the right level he's got a little bit of belly and like me he's a bit loose in places and i love him so yeah so i bought myself a tiny bear the big doofle dog is my depression bear he was bought during lockdown <laughs> and this is my seasonal depression sad bear <laughs> he's my sad bear seasonal affective depression bear <laughs> so yeah he's gonna go on my bed with my emotional support shark <laughs> so yeah so I, I have two little soft things just to be there for when brain just brains <laughs> but i love him he's so good i was stalked where he's been on the internet and everyone got him before the uk and we finally have him and i have him so yeah no i'm a very happy bunny i have my bear <laughs> so yeah i'm done now <laughs> i promise uh where are we gonna run on to the normal bit all the resealable yeah oh. perfect all the sandwich bags were three pound a box 
so I got some of the um, four litre and six litre ones the biggest ones they do and then I also got two and a half litre and 1.2 litre ones I was trying to get them in different colourways uh, oh, I didn't quite manage it on this one I should have picked up the red ones this is a 0 0.4 and 1 litre also in black and brown but I usually try and get different colours of each one should have got them in red but these things happen now we can go on to the other thing, which is here Oh, that's the food receipt. I'll do that for. I'll tell you how much the food was as a separate thing. But yeah, I chucked a couple of bits in here shopping wise. I got a lovely big. Let's do this one first. Big Barbie pink bath towel or bath sheet because it's 100 by 150 centimeters. And yeah, they smell slightly vinegary when you first get them, so you've got to give them a wash. But IKEA bath sheets are amazing. I've got grey ones that I got reduced years ago now they were like a fiver and i got a couple you've probably seen them in various bits they are covered in bleach and yeah but i thought oh we'll treat ourselves to a new bath towel this one was 10 pounds so worth it though so yeah so i just need to run that through the wash to get rid of the vinegar smell 10 out of 10 so yeah and then i also got for is it two pound fifty or yeah two pound fifty four washcloths of the same Barbie pink because um, Ryan bless him doesn't know how to wring them out so they can sit quite sodden unless I catch it and they just naturally they're cotton so they rot and fall apart so I quite regularly have to buy new washcloths to buy you know for face washing in the morning and one gets out next to the bath as well washing in the bath so and obviously run them through the washing machine and they just naturally wear and tear so i've got some pink ones this time they're very cool yeah 250 for four can't go blame uh get me down to the last couple of ikea bits uh i got two spatulas these were 40 pence each always need spatulas because for some reason the silicone ones go sticky and gunky after a couple of years and they're just yeah gross so i have to replace certain ones i've just had to get rid of a load so yeah which is never fun and then i've got this um these were 50p i've got me and ryan one each my sister showed me them they're 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 phone stands but they're key rings so they look like that and then you open it up and you can sit your phone in it and have it as a little phone stand wherever you are and i thought that would be really cool for on the train or you know traveling so i've got me and ryan one each for 50p because that was very useful and that was all my ikea goodies that i spent the grand total of 70 pound 89 on now we're on to the little receipt of stuff from the food bit the hot food i ate i got myself a little meatballs and a chips and vegan ice cream which was lovely really good the only thing i was very sad about the food court the bit where you buy food to take home I had run out of gravy no sachets no pre-made cartons no nothing no gravy and i was like i want gravy but job for another time you know so um i got excuse me while i lean forward uh these biscuits these are 125 jammy heart biscuits they're really good with a cup of tea one of them. uh these were all three of these were 155 mm. yep <coughs> i got ryan and my mum a pack of these each they're like um almond um frangipan dipped in chocolate with creamy stuff in they like them so yeah so i got two packs of them and then i've got for myself um oat pastry with cocoa and coconut i don't know what they're gonna be like but for 155 they seemed interesting you know don't know and then i also got i didn't know if i'd need it for the you have to get a tram to the croydon ikea i didn't know if i needed it for the tram ride home but or the big train but as it was i didn't so i can have it maybe later for a 
chuck it next to my bed. Uh, Lingdenberry flavoured fizzy drink. This was one pound fifty. It's actually still cold. So yeah, and that all together came to seven pound forty. But yeah, so that was the only well, that was yeah. There wasn't many uh, faux flowers that I wanted, or nor there was there um, any gravy to bring home. But oh well, not the end of the world to be honest. Gives an excuse to do another jaunt another time. But yeah, so that is my IKEA haul. And I'm very happy with the bits I got. And oh, my bear just makes my heart sing with happiness. And yeah, so um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. And yeah, feel free to go watch some more hauls and odds and sods. And I'll catch up with you later. Bye.